Hello folks, it is first weekend of May, so I just felt the need to go wander aimlessly, and that is pretty much the description of this here adventure, just wandering. Don't really have any specific destination in mind, uh, just pointed the Jeep towards the mountains, headed into primarily familiar country. Really just kind of want to see how much snow has melted off in the last few weeks since we were up in this direction. Uh, it's been, we've had a few really nice days this last week, uh, hovering up in the 70s, which is awesome. And so hoping that I might actually be able to get into my hills a little bit further. But I guess we'll see. And until then, I'll keep driving. Talk to you later. All right, well, I've been tooling around for a couple hours now, actually about three and a half. Um, been down a lot of roads over in this area, or up a lot of roads, we should say. Um, a lot of narrow, high elevation roads in, in this particular ranger district. And many of those roads are in really bad shape. Trees down, slides, rocks, holes, all sorts of stuff. So you haven't got a lot of film just because I've been spending a lot of time clearing the road. Um, we hit snow around 2,300 to 2,500 feet in most places. Right now I'm sitting at about 2,200. We haven't got to the snow yet, but I know it's just up and around the corner. I can literally smell it. Um, figured I'd stop and make some coffee, get you guys a couple of shots from here, because it's, well, kind of pretty. And then we will hit the road and keep on going.
Need a hand? I was like, oh, we can do it. Yeah. Let's go, go for it. And well, then, I mean, I can park in the road and we can cable off to you and winch you out real quick. It might be easier. Yeah, probably. Yeah, right. I got I got a winch on the front of this thing too. So. Well, didn't get to use my winch, but you know, I got to use my new recovery line, so that works out, right? Poor guy just kind of slid off the edge of the road right there, and he was in there good. Uh, he tried to use the winch to hook to me to pull himself out, but that wasn't working out. So I just popped it in four wheel drive, put a strap on the front of him and pulled him on out of there. So they said that just above there, the snow starts getting super deep and we're not going to go up there. So I guess we're back down to lower elevations again. Well, I is a hungry Bryceley, but first we gotta clean up all that mess. That's what I get for rescuing people. Yeah. Fajitas. Howdy there folks, on the bouncy roads again if you can't tell. Um, just got done sitting down there by the river. Those were some really yummy fajitas and a very pleasant like spot to just hang out. When I first got there, there were some people that were shooting a, a couple of campsites away, which was kind of loud, but they didn't stay very long. So we had a rather peaceful hour. It is about seven o'clock now, and so I'm starting to work my way down off of this mountain, hopefully just to get down before dark, because there is a lot of damage to the roads and big boulders and stuff in the way. Um, like to just be able to see, because the road is like literally crumbling in places, and I don't want to get anywhere near the edge. That being said, I hope you have enjoyed this little wander today, and we will catch you on the next one.